Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll describe the various distribution functions for grid points along a given connector. So the first thing you'll do is you'll select a connector, you'll go Grid, Distribute, go to the Functions tab, and you can pick from a variety of different distribution functions. And I've created a number of connectors. For each function, I've specified a space constraint at the left end and left the right end unconstrained. So the first function is hyperbolic tangent. This is our default distribution function. If you leave everything unconstrained, it's going to be uniform spacing. But in this example, what it does is it distributes points along a connector uh, using the hyperbolic tangent function. Second is MRQS. This is monotonic rational quadratic spline. Typically, this will be applied for cases where you've got subconnectors. But in this example, I really like it because it doesn't pull as many points towards the constrained end as hyperbolic tangent. It kind of has a higher effective growth rate initially on the connector than hyperbolic tangent does. Next is the shape distribution function. With shape, which has its own parameters, max angle and maximum deviation, you can specify these parameters and it will distribute points and kind of loosely adhere to the parameters that you specify. And I say loosely because it won't change the number of points on a given connector. It's going to use the existing dimension that you've specified. If you want to increase the points to exactly adhere to the max angle or deviation, you'll need to use the grid dimension function. This connector is straight, so you can't see a lot. Let's switch over to a connector that has some curvature, and you can see that it's moved some of the points to this convex region given the turning angle of five degrees that I've specified without increasing the number of points. Next is geometric. Geometric distribution function is one-sided, okay? And it works by distributing points from that constrained end to the unconstrained end such that the ratio of spe spacing between the grid points is going to be constant. In other words, the space in between the adjacent grid points is going to increase monotonically from the constrained end to the unconstrained end. Now, for this example, it's kind of nice because it sits somewhere between MRQS and hyperbolic tangent. And then lastly, there is the growth distribution function, which applies the geometric growth formula to a growth region of the connector, and then outside that uses hyperbolic tangent. And there's parameters you can specify. Um, for this example, I used an initial spacing. I specified the number of layers in the growth region, and then the initial growth rate. So I hope that helps when deciding what type of distribution function you would like to use when distributing points along a connector. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.